So in my last uh, After Effects particle tutorial, we had a look at the basic uh, PLU, 99 frames. I'm going to create a new solid, so just hit Control Y. Uh, I'm just going to call it Part, doesn't matter which color it is. And I'm just going to click my solid and I'm going to, I'm going to uh, Effects, Trap Code, Particular. So the basic state of Particular is pretty much like an explosion effect, uh, quite a crude one, but. Um, So if we want to make this an explosion, what we want to do is, this is the particles per second. We could start with like a thousand particles, and then by frame five, the particles per second, the rate becomes zero. So that's kind of pretty much the very basic uh, explosion effect. And we can go to physics, and we can actually speed up the physics time factor. Actually, or we could just do it for velocity here. Obviously, uh, an explosion is pretty fast, isn't it? So, there we go. Something like that. So, explosions are high velocity and they die. The emission of particles stops pretty quick. I mean, that's the basics of an explosion. And uh, what you want to do is um, maybe uh, give it 10,000 particles. Let's see what that does. Boom. So, explosion 101. That's the gist of it. And then you can play with colors and stuff. But today I'm just going to go through basic animation theory. I'm not going to touch any materials. and uh, I might run through some of the basic stuff like um, particle type. You can have stars. So that's like a kind of fairy dust explosion. We've got uh, cloudlets, which are kind of pretty much like pieces of a turd or uh, little clouds. <laughs> So anyway, that's the that's the basics of a explosion. You just emit a high high number of particles, and then you cut them off quickly, and uh, make it quite fast. So that's number one. So I'm just going to put this back to a hundred particles. Uh, whilst that we do velocity, I'm just going to drop that back down to a hundred. Second type, a, a trail. Imagine like a meteorite or a comet. You know. So that's uh, best created using a null object to kind of uh, create like a emission point. So I'm just going to hit P on the null to reveal its position. I'm going to make it a 3D layer. And then all we do is just alt click position XY in particular, grab the pick whip and link it to the null position. And then it starts emitting from our uh, null object, as you can see. So basically, if we just animate this null, that's going to create a trail. So we'll just put that there, a frame, start frame, put it over here, make it move off screen, come back, off screen again. And there you go. That's like the basics of a kind of comet trail effect. Then it's just a matter of tweaking settings, you know, like sphere, number of particles, play with the physics, how much uh, air, wind, add like a little bit of wind, let's see what happens, boom. You can add the gravity here, make the kind of particles fall down, maybe not so much. Oh yeah, I mean that's the basics of uh, creating a kind of trail effect which is pretty commonly used, you know. And then a third and final type of effect. Imagine we just want the particles to be like already there. They already exist. Imagine like a star field uh, moving through space. Uh, how do we do that? So for this, um, we probably get rid of the null. 
and um, that's the particle back to normal. I'm just going to reset it actually. Just hit the reset there. So how to create a static star field? Well, um, the velocity would be zero obviously because they're not going to be moving. But the problem is you've got no particles. And uh, if you go into emission extras, you can do a pre-run. Um, well, you need a bit of velocity, obviously. Um, let me try one. The problem is that pre-run has a limit. Uh, we could kill speed. Okay, so we start off with a high velocity. Keyframe that. Whoops. Hit. I'm used to uh, alt clicking. Sorry, just simply click velocity, and then the next frame. Just cut that off. Zero. That's not a good way to do it, is it? Actually, that could work. Uh, it's still moving, but what we can do is uh, under where was it? Physics, physics time factor, stopwatch. Go to the next frame and make that zero, and that that should kill. Yep, all movement. And then you just kind of make sure that you render from frame one because you're going to get that little kind of bump. But look at this. It's basically a static star field. Right now you can't really see it, but um, I'm just going to add a camera in there. Create a quick camera. I'm going to create a quick null for the camera. It's always good to attach the camera to a null because uh, you don't want to animate directly onto the camera. You want to use a null. And as you can see, now we've got like this star field I can move, move through and it's static. So I can like, if I want to create like a space animation going through the universe, keyframe there, and uh, whoops, what did I do? Just broke it. Nice. How did I do that? It's just something broke. Yeah, okay, give me one minute to fix this. So sorry, yeah, I'm back. Um, I don't know what the hell was going on there. Basically just got rid of the null and uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I just animate, animated directly onto the camera. And as you can see, now we've got a moving through the star field effect. Just had no idea what was going on there, but um, there you go. That's the animation we were looking for.